Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 9 of the Backyard Baseball 2003 Worst Possible Team Season Playthrough. I posted in the comments on the last video, but yesterday as I'm recording this video, I did test positive for the you-know-what. It has been a busy past three weeks for yours truly, and I am sorry again for the uh, big delay in the span of videos. I knew they would take maybe like, you know, two weeks, but more than three weeks, almost a month. It was not supposed to be that long. So I thank y'all for your patience and for waiting while I, you know, worked through this stuff. But right now I am in quarantine. And so I figured what better time to get back into the swing of things with the monsters in the new year 2022 than right now while I'm in quarantine. We are heading into game number nine. We are 0 and 8 and we're looking for a new strategy. So normally in these episodes, as you may know by now, I like to do a little preview of the upcoming game. I like to go over our lineup. I like to go over our opponent's lineup, you know, do a little breakdown of who their top players are and what we can expect in the game ahead. But there's a reason why I did not do it last episode and y'all will see why. But first let's go over our team and our boosts, reductions, all that stuff. So we do have another big boost. In the last episode, Ivan King had the big boost. He was boosted to 7 of 10 at batting. Unfortunately, we only got one hit out of him. We have a perhaps even bigger boost from a player that nearly hit a home run in the last game, and that is Heidi Thurman, who was boosted to 5 at batting, 6 at running, 3 at pitching, and 10 of 10 at fielding. Now, she already has one of the best arms in the game. So the 10 of 10 fielding boost is nice, but it's more so probably cosmetic. She's already great at fielding. However, the five of 10 at batting is very interesting because even though she's only a base one of 10, she clearly has enough power to nearly get it over the low left field fence at Scrap Co. and also at Playground Commons. So with five of 10 at batting, I wonder what her power and contact has increased into. Even though this is only five out of 10, maybe Heidi Thurman can hit a home run today for us. So this is a massive, massive boost. The speed boost is obviously really nice as well. However, we do have a few reductions. Victoria Schamberg down to one at batting, two at pitching. Obviously her pitching stat does not matter. Uh, and then going from two at batting to one at batting, really not that big of a deal. And then Dana Sakula goes down to two at running and three at fielding. So that might actually impact her uh, defense somewhat. We will have to see. But now let's jump into our opponent's roster. Y'all are going to freak out when you see this. Your eyes do not deceive you. What you are reading on screen actually is there. Shohei Otani is in Backyard Baseball 2003. That's right, I created him. He is in the game. You can have one custom kid per season, I believe. I put him on the Angels, and he, of course, is maxed out at everything. He can hit, he can run, he can pitch, he can throw like crazy. He's got a cannon for an arm. Of course, we had to give him the Pete Wheeler running boost just to, you know, really model what he's like in real life. So yes, Shohei Otani is the starting pitcher. After we go over the rest of their lineup, we will check in on Shohei's stats to see how he's been doing so far this season. Their other pro is Troy Glaus, of course, solid hitter, Great speed, good in the field. Probably one of the more underrated pros in the game. This team has plenty of other great hitters as well. They've got Timmy Unger in right field, Maya Woodruff at second base. And then left field, they've got Sarah Maxwell who can do everything. She can hit, she can run. She's even a decent pitcher. She can field, of course. So this team definitely really solid. And with Shohei Otani on the mound, unless we can hit a ball into the outfield, which as y'all know, we can hardly ever do. He's just gonna clean up everything, so we could get totally shut out in this game. So we will have to see how we fare against this formidable Angels squad. So right now though, the Angels are three and five. So just like the Angels in real life, even though they've got all that talent that does not really translate much into the win column, they are actually third in the division. They are three games behind for the first place A's. And now let's look at the stats. Shohei Otani is batting 0.560 on the season. He's hit six home runs, nine runs batted in going absolutely crazy. And then as far as pitching goes, 
He's got a very, very good 3.9 ERA. However, he is 0-2 as a pitcher, which is pretty interesting. Only 18 strikeouts as well, which is a pretty low number. Colleen Clinker right now leads the team in strikeouts. She's got 24. They've had a lot of different pitchers. For a team ERA of 3.82, which again, isn't horrible, but clearly they are a losing team and they are behind in the division. So you know that they want to win this game badly. They need it in the division race if they have any hope of making the playoffs. So we've got quite the formidable opponent on our plate for today. I mentioned that we are looking for a new strategy. Well, I will have this comment on the screen. I'm sorry for forgetting your name. I will make sure to have it on the screen. He suggested though, that I start intentionally setting up double play situations to gain as many power-ups as possible and use that to try and coast to victory and you know cheese my way to victory. That's such an obvious strategy. I don't even know why I didn't think of it before. I think when I started out this season, I wanted to play it straight, you know, just play, you know, real baseball. But in a way, that that that's how you do it. The only way that this team could consistently get a string of hits is through power-ups. And so what we might need to do is we might need to intentionally walk certain players, maybe allow certain players to get hits they get on base if they're slower, and you know, basically artificially create double play situations so we can stack as many power-ups as possible. Let's say hypothetically that we get, you know, three double plays heading into the sixth inning and we are down 2-0. Even if those three power-ups that we get off those three double players are all single use, if you get three power-up hits in a row, that could create one to two runs and that could tie the game. Or if it's very close, we're only down by one, maybe we're even tied. That could be enough to win the game. So going forward, we are going to try that strategy. I've been trying to you know get as many strikeouts as possible with Thor and shut the opponents out that way. I don't think we're going to be able to do that on defense anymore. That's just not working. The only rule is that I cannot intend intentionally walk any players with the bases empty and with no outs. In real life, walking a player with the bases empty is frowned upon. And you know, I want to uphold the integrity of the game of baseball somewhat, right? So no intentional walks with the bases empty. That's the only rule, but that's going to be the strategy going forward. And there is Shohei Otani on the mound. Let's see what his pitches are like, man. He's a scary player for sure. All right, Victoria Schamberg down the third baseline. Troy Gloss is going to get that easily. Easy first out for the Angels. I've also realized that because Shohei Otani is literally maxed out at everything, he might not get tired. I mean, I know that in the simulated stats, obviously he's been off the mound somewhat, but he might never get tired. Cameron Haynes, that one is on the ground. Look how fast Shohei is off the mound, dude. Oh, that's a horrible throw. <laughs> she dropped that right at her feet. That was kind of funny, but... Easy second out, and here comes Heidi Thurman with the mega boost to all attributes today. I am very curious to see how this turns out. Ooh, Heidi Thurman smacks that. Great hit. She does not look that much faster with the speed boost, but that is going to be a single for Heidi Thurman. Good hit. Dana Sakula smacks that into right field, and Timmy Unger misses that. Are we going to have two base runners in the first inning? There we go. And you know what? Let's try and see if we can run with Heidi. Runners at the corners, maybe? Oh, that's a great throw. Crap. Crap. I bit off more than I could chew. She's going to be out. <sighs> Dang. Well, Dana should get credit for a hit there. She won't in the game, but she should get credit for a hit. I thought I could make it with Heidi with the speed boost. That speed boost doesn't really seem like it's doing much. But not a horrible first inning of offense for us against the very formidable Shohei Otani. But now it's time for defense. Strikeout on three pitches for Thor Herring. Looking for redemption after last week where he got pulled early. And see right there, there's the more juice power up. We could have used that last week. Don't know where that was. Sarah Maxwell bunts that. Not really sure why she chose to do that. All right, easy out. <laughs> Very close to a hit there. That was a little too close. All right, here is Shohei. Gonna... Might intentionally walk him, to be honest. Just gonna be super cautious with what we do with him. Oh, that's a quick grounder into the outfield. We're just going to have Ivan throw it to second. Oh, he's going to go for it. Could have had an easy single, but we get Shohei out, and just like that, we put up a zero. Good first thing of defense. Wayne Pittman. Why did I go for that? That's an error, but that's going to be an easy throw to Shohei. Oh, Shohei misses that. Okay, all right. Wayne is on second. 
Wayne finds ways to get on base. We are on second with no outs. Three consecutive base runners. That is, that's gotta be a record or something, right? Strike three, that one was low. Thor had no chance of that one. All right, one out. Claire Nelson, she might have the highest batting average on the team right now. She keeps finding ways to get on base. She's doing pretty well on offense. Oh my gosh, Claire Nelson. Oh, that one was close. A near home run for Claire Nelson. Man, this team keeps surprising me. All right, Claire hits it to the warning track. Wow, legit hit. Four of the last five at-bats have resulted in base runners. That is crazy. Ooh, that's a pop fly. Go back, guys. All right, infield fly, two outs. All right, Quentin, it's up to you to make something of this opportunity. This has been a very good start for us on offense. Oh, it's like I saw that and I was like, man, we can smack this out of here, but horrible. A pretty great start on offense for us, by our standards especially. Unfortunately, we've not been able to do anything with it so far. Ooh, Molly May. That is smacked into left field. We're going to have to throw this in. That's going to be a single. Strike out on Troy Gloss. There we go. Back on track, Thor. Oh. Ah, I forget that Wayne is a horrible arm. Both of these players on base are slow. I was hoping for a double play. I wanted to make the throw to second, then to first. We can't do that with this team. Throw it. Well, there goes the double play opportunity. All three of those players active for the Angels right there were slow, but unfortunately could not do it with that pop-up, but might have more opportunities later. Strikeout to end the inning. Thor, three strikeouts to the first two innings. We put up another zero. Let's get back on offense. Shohei has not really shut us down so far. No runs, but we've been able to get on base. Victoria Schamberg on the edge of the strike zone. Shohei cleans that up easily. Man, wow. Too quick. Cameron Haynes on the third baseline. Troy Glass is right on top of that. He fumbles it, but... Cameron Haynes nearly got on base. That was a weird, that was a weird sequence. I don't really know what happened there. Oh, that was a strike? That seemed low and outside to me. Heidi Thurman goes down to three pitches and still nothing for us on offense. Yikes. Strike out on three pitches for Frankie Holly. Went down looking at that one. That was a little too far into the strikes. I was worried he was going to hit that, but nope. Just took a look at it. That was all. Sit down, buddy. Kathy Wolf lays down a bunt, and she's going to be way too quick. Sarah Maxwell lays down a bunt, too. Two really quick players here. All right, good strategy by the Angels. Dangerous situation right here. Oh, Shohei just hit a nuke. Jeez, made that one look easy. I thought going high and inside would be a good strategy against him. Nope, 524 feet. Whew. Molly May. Heidi runs right past that. I thought she had a boost to fielding. Okay, all right. Jeez, all right, Heidi. Whew. Great throw. Not great awareness, but great throw to make up for it. Oh, Troy just launches that one as well. I was not looking where I was throwing that one. Claire is not fast enough to get there. That'll be a grand double. Things quickly coming unwound for us on defense. All right, Dana, come on, make this play. All right, out number three, but we are down 3-0 now. Dana, pop up. It's like, I want to just do basic stuff on offense, but you just can't do it with this team. That's going to be another error, though. <laughs> All right, fine. Runner on second. What can we do with this? We have another great opportunity here. We've had so many offensive opportunities so far this game. Wayne Pittman, nice contact. Oh, jeez. Why do my players always fall down? Look how slow she is, dude. Come on. God, this is just so horrible. It's like I cannot, I, I just cannot do anything with these players. Might as well just ground out and try and get back on, on offense and get a double play. This is just stupid. Ugh, it's futile at this point. That's really how it feels on offense, especially when we don't have power-ups. 
Maya Woodruff. Maya Woodruff up the middle. Oh my gosh, they're so slow. I was hoping for like a ground out and have her at second so we can go for a double play, but nope. She's going to go for third. Make this throw, Thor. There we go, out number one. Strike on three pitches. I was giving her easy ones. I was saying, hey, Colleen, hit these. Get a single so we can turn a double play, but nope. She just let them all go by. Grounder for Frankie Holly. Thor lets that one go by him. Dana, throw that. Quentin is off the bag. Oh, come on. I forgot they had a double play. I forgot they had a power up, I mean. Jeez. Okay, Ivan, come on. Throw this one in. Oh, they're both going for third. Fine by me. One of you guys is going to get out. Throw it. Never mind. Neither of them get out. We just can't move fast enough. We're just so slow. Speed is by far the most important variable in this game. Another one. This is the, the, Sarah Maxwell is so fast, this could be an inside the park home run. <sighs> just like that, it turns into disaster. We always start off these games shutting them out on defense. We're like, wow, you know, maybe we can pull this off. All it takes is like one screw up for everything to come apart. It sucks. God, it's like we just can't make these plays. And he's going to get to second. <sighs> oh, throw it. There we go. Another three runs scored. Claire Nelson with a high fly. Troy's going to get that. Great catch. <sighs> can't do anything. Cannot do a single thing. Their first baseman really sucks. <laughs> Still gets the out. She's been bad this whole game. Right inside. Nothing we can do. Quentin wouldn't be able to do anything with that anyway. Another zero for Shohei. Last chance to get some double plays here. Or a double play. We can get one double play here. Maybe get one power up. Molly May. Gonna be an easy out though. Tempted to let her get there, but too easy of an out. Troy, out to Claire Nelson. Can we make a play? Pff, nope. All right, he's on first. Double play opportunity. Okay. Okay. Thor, get there. Dude, oh my gosh. Everything just develops so slowly with these players. They are literally too slow to get under routine fly balls. That is how slow these players are. They still had an undergrounder? Dude! Like, this game is just messing with me now. Just insult to injury. Dude, Ivan... Please don't let all three of them score. Dude, how does he have three bad throws in a row? What's the RNG on that? Literally, what is the RNG? Of three bad throws in a row. Alright, we're gonna make this throw home. Thor, throw it home. There we go. Make the out. No double play opportunity. It's over. It's all over, but gotta avoid more runs. All right. Six strikeouts on the game for Thor, but they score eight runs. They really turn it on late, especially with those power-ups. Cheesy, cheesy. Grounder right to Shohei. Gonna clean that up easy. Out number one. Cameron Haynes. Hey, that's a well-placed hit. Is that going to be out of play? It will. Ground rule double. Nice job, Cameron Haynes. There we go. Do we have some life here? We might. Heidi Thurman is up. Can we get an RBI with her? He would be smart to walk Heidi Thurman here. She is our best option for a hit by far. And that is just a sad, sad grounder to the shortstop. Going to be an easy out. Out number two. Yikes. Well, that was our best chance to score a run. It's going to be another grounder right to the first baseman. We're going to go for it. Another horrible throw. And is this going to score a run? Because Cameron was at second. That's going to score a run. Another error by the Angels' first baseman. That's like her third or fourth of the game. And we score a run off that. Incredible. What a way for Shohei to give up his only run of the game. Astounding. 
Wayne Pittman. That's going to be a base hit, potentially. We're going to sprint with him. Please get there, Wayne. Please get there, Wayne. Please get there, Wayne. Yes, we get there. The sprinting worked there. All right, runners at the corners. Can we potentially get another run? Late inning cheese from us? Maybe. Oh, that was... Why did I go for that? Should have waited for the right pitch. It's going to be an easy out. Game over. At least we did not get shut out. 8-1. The Angels beat us down. Well, I think it was really the power-ups that did us in. Shohei Otani had a home run, a three-run home run that really put a damper on things. But the power-up cheese, they had like, what, four undergrounders? That was just way too cheesy. We were eight for 24 in terms of base runners. We did have a lot of base runners off errors. For example, Dana Sakula, it says she went three for three. Two of those were errors. In fact, two of those were doubles because those were, you know, out of play errors. Although Cameron Haynes did get a legit ground rule double, so that's good for him. Heidi Thurman did get a pretty solid hit off her boost, but we were really not able to do anything with that either. And so, you know, as far as offensive output goes, once again, this is another game where we actually were not terrible on offense and in terms of getting base runners, but we just cannot capitalize on these opportunities ever. On defense, though, definitely a different story. Thor Herring, six strikeouts, not horrible. 53 strikes thrown, only two balls, but gave up that home run. And then, of course, once the power-ups uh, started, the undergrounders, it was just over from there. The strategy going forward is that we need to try and force as many double plays as possible. Unfortunately, those opportunities just did not present themselves in this last game. The Angels were just a little too quick, and the opportunities that we had to turn double plays with slow players just evaporated, or they just did not work out because we were too slow, messed up a play. You guys could probably hear my frustration with how slow the players are. I'm telling you guys, I'm trying to think of ways to win these games and so far it's just been very very difficult to find the opportunities when they strike and you know with this team especially once you have you know one home run given up you know you're down three four zero from that point on it's over because this team is not built to play from behind we're just not for the next game though we are returning home it is our first home game in quite a while we do have a boost today that is dana sakula she is boosted too Five at running, five at pitching, and nine at fielding. So that'll be pretty nice. Dana, sometimes she is a liability on defense. So having her boosted to nine of 10 at fielding, that will be pretty nice for sure. And our opponent is the Chicago White Sox. And they've got some pretty good players on their team. Their pro is Frank Thomas playing first base. Stan Olofsson is our starting pitcher. He can do everything. And as a matter of fact, pitching is probably his weakest point. He's only six of 10 at pitching. I'm not sure why Frank Thomas isn't their starting pitcher. They've also got Francis Bluer in left field. She can hit and she's got speed. Maynard McElroy is their catcher. He's not a great hitter. He's a decent contact hitter, but he's got that speed. And we all know that that's what matters in this game. And then in right field, Cheryl Reynolds, 10 of 10 at batting, 8 of 10 at running. So they've got some formidable players on their team. Are they the best team that we've seen all season? On paper, they are not. But as we have seen consistently in this season, we cannot underestimate any opponents. Guys, do you think that we can win a single game this season? What do you guys think of this game against the Angels? Did we stand a chance at all, even with attempting this new strategy? Or do we really blow a chance to win a close one here? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.